we're going to be talking about eight ways to get over a breakup or hard time that you had that has definitely left a scar on you you might be healing for two months straight and you will not think about one person and on the third month of your healing problem, problem. Get out of bed, exercise, eat, try and be happy. Bro, a lot of people need therapy. A lot of you guys need therapy. <laughs> I've had therapy before. Like, first session was literally so eye opening. I was like, wait, like, this lady was digging into shit that I did not know was affecting my life. I wasn't happy with the person I was becoming whenever I looked in the mirror. Just have your own thing going, even when you're in the relationship. So, when you're out of it, I mean, I'm not saying your relationship will end. <laughs> Hey besties, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I have a very amazing video for you. I am so passionate about this video and I'm so glad that I'm finally going to be speaking on this. We're going to be talking about eight ways to get over a breakup or hard time that you had that has definitely left a scar on you. We're in a space whereby a lot of people are going through so much and I can relate, we all can relate. I just want you to know that in this space, you're fine with being sad, with being overwhelmed, anxious, whatever feeling. And I really hope with this eight points, you can actually feel better about what you're going through and hopefully get over it. Also, this very wonderful video is sponsored by Yolisa Hair. It is such an amazing wig. I mean, I have it on, so I'm gonna be showing you the process throughout and we're gonna be having you know, one-on-one -on -one conversation, just me and you in this space. So this is how this gorgeous hair came i'm in awe because like they got the coloring so perfectly i wanted something very not the normal hair and they got that really nicely i can't wait to have this on it has like gold highlights and it's brown then we have the hairband velcro which is so much easier to put on wow this is so long i love that we have a gorgeous wig cap edge brush and lashes so it also comes with instructions on how to take care of the hair i feel like this is so important because you know they obviously know what works best for the hair so you don't do things to the hair that isn't meant to be so yeah this is really good as well and a very cute bag yo my best color is burgundy so i'm so glad that this came in like my best color so yeah let's get right into the video Woo. freedom <laughs> you guys if i go bold do you think you would like it So the first point is, let's be honest, it's broke people that heartbreak is to pain the most. Like I said in my other video, when I spoke about things you should know in your 20s, that being broke to me, in my definition, it's not about not having money. It's about like not even waking up and like going to do what you're meant to do to get money or just feel like important in any way. So the point of saying that it's only broke people that heartbreak pains the most is that most times when people are with someone, not most times, but some occasions, right? You tend to leave what you're doing. You tend to forget about your routine. You know, maybe you wake up every day, you go to the gym, you end up not doing that anymore. You rather stay like at home with this person, even stuff like church on Sunday, you end up not going. So you stop being your own person. Do you understand? Maybe you start going to work late. Maybe you start losing enthusiasm to do your own thing. Bro, you're literally digging a hole for yourself because whenever that comes to an end, you now have to start your life again like you're literally finding out who you were before like i've literally been there where i kind of lost myself i lost my routines i lost my enthusiasm everything just became so scattered after i was like who am i half the time i was spending with this person i was always with them hanging out with them i was barely hanging out with my friends so at the end of the thingy bro where are you going to go do you understand you're now looking like wow this was literally my only companion and everything so just have your own thing going even when you're in the relationship so when you're out of it i mean i'm not saying your relationship will end but in the situation whereby it does do you understand you still know who you are because guess what like if i have to be up like going to search for money and get my things done yes i'm heartbroken and that but i'll still wake up to go get my money because that money will still make me feel better so i would definitely like encourage everybody to have your own thing going when you're in a relationship <laughs> Okay, so number two. Number two might seem pretty obvious, right? And when I say obvious, it's like, what's the essence of it? But honestly, I feel like exercising is so important, guys. Like, 
when you're going through shit like this is one thing that works for me it's not about say oh you want a good body or whatever you could get that you will get that but it's an eventual thing but one of the advantages like the short-term ones is actually having a good mindset so i'll advise to go to the gym because when you're around people that work out you just you just feel encouraged to but if you're in your room you'll do like one sit up and you're like i've tried just imagine you've had a long night you're thinking about something you've lost and you feel very sad and you wake up the next morning and you have that kind of energy but then you just push yourself the little just a little bit to go to the gym and just work out and run one thing that helps me is running like i don't know if i'm running away from my problems or whatever but when i run i feel like i am letting go so i i feel like that's very important and like i was not really going through it but i felt like my life was becoming a little bit linear like it was like the same thing going on and that's one of the things that causes depression and i remember i told myself that this month i was going to be waking up before 11 a.m usually i would literally sleep till 1 a.m 1 p.m sorry so I told myself I'm waking up before 11 a.m. So by 9 a.m. I'm already at the gym and I should just be at the gym before 11 a.m. So that starts off my day. Even if I don't want to do anything or I don't even work out so much, as long as I get there and I just like put in that effort, trust me, it's not just good for your body, it's good for your mental. Okay, so point three. So there was a time in 2019, right? I was going through a heartbreak and you guys, you know, someone actually DM me. I was like, Francis, how many men have you dated? Because there's always that guy, that guy. Sometimes it's the same guys. I'm just giving you guys different tea. So don't question it, okay? So I'm going to be honest. Maybe, no, I'll say one day I'll talk about it, but I won't talk about it because that heartbreak really shaped my life a lot. I don't think I've really been heartbroken after that. Like now I'm just on vibes. Do you understand? Like you can't break my heart. Sorry, dear. I was really in a bad place and I wasn't eating. It was like, I said, like, okay, whenever I was really in a bad place, I, I wasn't eating. And then I started to look very skinny, lose a lot of weight and everything. And I was just like, why am I doing that? Do you understand? Like I wasn't purposely trying to do that. It was just what it is. I didn't find the enthusiasm to eat or anything. I was just like, oh, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. And I lost so much weight and I wasn't happy with what I was seeing. Not that weight loss is bad, but for me, I wasn't happy with with the person I was becoming whenever I looked in the mirror so I would definitely advise that you should eat like even just this morning I woke up and I was already in a bad mood and even when I was like ah let's shoot let's do that I remember what I told my team was I need food if I don't eat I start to get grumpy the minute I wake up I want food I want to eat morning after night even midnight so I want to eat so I'm gonna say that even if you don't feel the need to eat try and eat what makes you happy like you know what you like to eat so try and eat those kind of foods don't eat suya when you want to eat beans i don't know who would ever choose beans over suya but just take that example for it try and like make yourself happy this is your time to enrich yourself as an individual it's not about what anybody wants but about what you want so food will make you happy trust me even if it doesn't seem like it try eat what you like and eat food because it'll be good for you wink. i think i blinked instead of winked but you you get the point So number four, we all know that like when you're going through it, uh, why I keep saying heartbreak? Because it might not be relationship. It might be it's just something that breaks your heart. You're an individual and different things will, like cost you pain. And that's okay. So this is like a generalized type of heartbreak. Usually when you're going through stuff, you're like propelled to stay in bed, right? And you just want to sulk and cry and just be in that your space and just be sad by yourself. And we totally understand. Like when I say we, I'm talking about myself and me. I advise you to obviously feel your emotions. Like I'm not big on you escaping how you feel so feel your emotions but then like i give myself three days literally three days to be in bed and the third day i might even feel like okay i don't even want to be in bed anymore i mean if something happens today the next day best believe i'm going to be in my bed feeling all my emotions like i can't escape from that so even my friends know like let me cry let me be sad let me talk about it 50 times allow me to be in that space of like emotions when i say three days is it's my own type of time like give yourself five days if you give yourself two days or even one day if you're a i don't know you're a strong man but the minute that timeline runs out you need to get out of bed and be the person you are like get out of bed exercise eat try and be happy do you understand like just give yourself time and the time you should actually tell yourself that okay for this number of days i'm going to feel this thing right when that number of days expire you move on to be you and that doesn't mean that you're not going to cry or break down or feel like oh you know the world is so bad to you and terrible we totally understand that but it just gives you that vibe that you know what this has happened and i can move on 
I can still be myself. Do you understand? You need to be able to fall in love with yourself again because honestly, you're the best person in the whole world. Yes, you heard that from me. So the fourth point leads me to my fifth point, which is you need to know that healing is a process. I sometimes forget that healing is a process. Like I feel sad and then I feel happy for like two days or maybe even a week. I don't even probably care about what's happening. And then one particular day I wake up and I'm in such a bad mood and I'm like, oh my God, like I thought I was over this, but here it is creeping on me. Oh my God, I want to text this person. I miss this person. Why did I let it go? And like, I'm so glad because I have such amazing people in my life that always remind me that Francis, like healing is a process. Do you understand? It's okay for you to fall back on... Oh. <laughs> are you guys noticing how i'm slipping away from the street now it's okay for you to fall back on how you feel like see you don't understand that you might be healing for two months straight and you will not think about one person and on the third month of your healing you just feel so like into it and you just feel so sad and abandoned like you need to understand that it's normal because most times when people feel that way they feel like is it that they're not healing anymore all them questions start to enter your head though when you feel like ah maybe i should have asked him this maybe i should have fought harder it's normal and you need to understand that it's a process feel how you feel go through it know that there are going to be ups and downs and ups and downs and i mean it's just life you're wonderful you are not the problem they are always the problem honey yes even if both of you are watching right now the other person is the problem and not you because right here we stay positive as hell so just always go through it feel all you need to feel everything does happen for a reason because the other day i was out and i hope she doesn't watch this video i mean i hope she does because you know but then i hope she doesn't but i was in the restroom of this lounge it was i don't know why i was there longer than i should have i was meant to leave like i've already peed i've looked in the mirror i've applied my lip gloss i brushed my hair let me leave but I, I just sat down there and i was looking myself in the mirror for no goddamn reason i was there for like 10 minutes it was very unnecessary but then this girl walks in and I, I remember I saw her already when I was, you know, having drinks in the lounge when I'm in the restroom, right? She just starts to cry as she was looking for tissue. She was about to cry because she had like the most amazing makeup on. She looked so beautiful. So I'm looking at her like, are you okay? And she's like, she just saw her ex. Now, I'm, I'm honestly someone that loves people that open up. Like, honestly, when I ask her, are you okay? Tell me about your family. Tell me about your whole problems. I'm down to hear it. Do you understand? So I was so happy that she told me what was going on on her mind and everything. So she's like... Oh my gosh, she just saw her ex and her ex approached her and she's just like, you know, she feels really sad. Like, have you ever been in a situation whereby you're getting over somebody and then you see the person and the person approaches you as the devil they are, you know, <laughs> they are those ones. They know you're in the process of healing, but they want to counter your healing process. And then they approach you and then you just feel like everything has just gone from like, bro. So I understood what how she felt. I, I understood it so much. Because even a small text message from your ex can like make you feel like every single thing you did to get over this person has not worked. And I just kept on telling her that, babe, you're okay. Like, it's okay to feel this way and everything. And she just like literally says something that made me understand how deep this one. And that's going to be our next point. So she said she went to therapy to get over this guy. That this guy was that bad to her. And I'm not saying, you know, I mean, it might be a girl that's bad to you. And that's understandable. But in her story and position, it was a guy. And she was just so into it. And I literally asked her that, babes, like, what do you do when you're sad? Like, what makes you feel better? And she was like, she just wants to go home and be in her space. That whenever she's sad, she likes to be in her space. And I was like, you know what, let's get your car and, you know, you should go home. There's no point of you being there. It's crazy because I could have offered her what she didn't want. Maybe I start to advise her for a long time or I'm like, oh, let's go party, shake it off, drink, you get over him. No, you get, like, when you see someone sad, you have to ask them that when you're sad, what works for you because what works for them might not work for me if i'm sad you cannot take me out to drink because when i drink i'll go back go and text that guy i'll still go and text him i'll be like oh, i miss you she was just like she feels like talking to him she was like texting him and i know this might be crazy but i literally told her babe if you want to text him text him if you want to go see him go see him because let me tell you <laughs> stupidity does not have a timeline but when you know you're done you're done no 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 there was someone i was literally on for like a while we did it for two years there was always like break up going back break up when i was done i was done like no one had to tell me fto and you know one funny crazy thing i did not cry like when we broke up for that final time i just i never even broke up with him i just walked out of the house blocked him on everywhere until date i've never unblocked him nor spoken to him do you understand like when you know you're done you're done so whenever people come and they're oh they want to do i tell them do it if you want to text your ex text your ex if you want to go, do it enjoy have fun but when you're done you're done because one thing i learned from reading honestly because I read a lot now. Sorry, this thing, this heat is not. I read a lot now. And one thing I learned from reading is that whatever you're trying to like resist so much, you're just making the energy worse. Like, 
if I'm trying to resist the urge to be with somebody, I'm just making that urge worse. Do you understand? So if you're trying to resist the urge of talking to yourself, you're attracting yourself towards that. Then eventually you do it. Then eventually you regret it. So why go through that process? Like, allow life happen to you. Do you understand? Like, ah, it's... If I go deep into this, it's going to change this video from this to something else. But basically, even when you want to cut an addiction, right? See, I'm not a rehab somebody. I'm just going to tell you things I've learned from like metaphysics and like psychology and everything. Basically, like if you want to do that, don't say, oh, I'm going to stop it. Just allow yourself, breathe. Like know that eventually you're going to stop it and you will stop it. Do you understand? Like let's go into the next point. Because if I keep talking about this, we're going to literally go into a whole nother topic. <laughs> Okay, so the sixth point is get therapy if you need it. I would say before, people used to see therapy in Nigerians as such a like, ah, why, why is it so deep? But bro, a lot of people need therapy. A lot of you guys need therapy. <laughs> and I've had therapy before. Like, first session was literally so eye-opening. I was like, wait, like this lady was digging into shit that I did not know was affecting my life. And it made me really realize that I was holding a lot of things in and the kind of person I am. I mean, I didn't follow through with it. I did like maybe three or four sessions because ah, it was one of the heartbreak periods. Maybe I'm shy. But I know that it really helped me. Therapy doesn't help you really like say, okay, this is what you should do. But it helps you understand probably why you're attracting this kind of people, understand why something went so wrong. Like just understand from a very introspective perspective. Wow. You guys should start paying me money for my English. It's not easy. Yeah, like it really helps. So if you really do feel like you need therapy, you need someone professional to speak to you about things and to make you understand something from an in-depth perspective, you should definitely go for it, honey. Like you don't even have to have like a face-to-face. -face. We have online therapy websites now. You can literally just pay online to get a therapist online and you can you can video call them or whatever, or you just go there and I promise you it's going to be worth it. So don't just hold things in and be like, oh, People don't understand how I feel. I don't know who to talk to, blah, 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 blah. Get a therapist. You need it. We all need it. So the seventh and the second to the last point, which is actually so important. I see a lot of, you know, people, you know, city girls. I mean, I'm one, but like, you get what I mean? But the ones that like, they say stuff like, oh, you know, when I'm over you, I'll get over. I have other options, you know, like I can get under anybody. Basically, like, you know, when you're gone, there's someone else to replace and blah, 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 blah. Don't be too quick to rebound. Some people really see rebound as a flex. I don't I don't know why. You're hurting yourself, darling. Like, you, you really should not leave something and rush into something else. Because to you, you might be like, oh, yeah, I don't want love from this person or whatever I'm just having. But then you're going to also project all the pain you felt from your last situation into whatever you're going on even if it's just sex you will project that into that person take a break literally take a break even if you're trying to get with someone sexually or emotionally or whatever please like actually ask yourself that am i getting with this person to get over this other person like genuinely or do i just want to have fun because there are two different things and it's just a thin line for you to deceive yourself like and the worst thing you should do is lie to yourself so you have to be honest with yourself that you know, you're not just doing this just to get over this pain you're feeling because it might work temporarily. Like maybe the first two weeks might seem like, oh, you're over this person or whatever. But when your rebound starts to act a little bit, maybe doesn't pick your call or just starts to pull away for it. There's just a slight reason. You start to project all you felt like. And trust me, nobody wants that. So you're going to, it's just going to become very overwhelming. So take your time. And if you want to have fun, have fun for yourself, not because of any other person and not because you're trying to get over something. It should just be you running on the fast lane and nobody wants that shit. So yes, and we're up to the last and final point. Can you guess the last point? So the last 
last and final point, which is the most, most, most important point, guys. You should pray. Like, you have to actually pray for strength. I know so many times I was in a bad mood, even from the slightest thing, or everything wasn't going as planned. I literally just said a little prayer, like, God, like, I need some strength. You have to actually understand that, like, your faith is going to take you far. If you feel like you lost something, but you know that your loss is going to bring so much more because you don't know what's going to come. You don't know your future. You don't know the bad thing that that person would have done in your life because sometimes there will be someone that literally draws you back. I'm not saying it in a spiritual way or something. They, they just draw you back. Like, they get you distracted and everything. And when that distraction leaves your life, things just start to open up because then you have more drive. You have more passion to just follow what you actually want for yourself pray for strength and pray for the ability to distinguish who is meant to be in your life sometimes what i do especially when i'm in a situation whereby we keep breaking up and getting back and breaking up and getting back i literally ask god that god if this person is meant to be in my life let it work out and if he's not meant to be in my life then let him go and give me the strength to understand that this person was not good for me and something better and bigger will come into my life so i hope with this point i was able to convince you and not confuse you that Whatever you're going through, you can actually find a solution to it and you're going to be better. Like, we've all been in bad places. I promise you, the places I've been in life, you guys, if you know, you'll be like, how the hell is she like this? You get people always ask stuff about how am I so confident, so strong. To be honest, like, there's a point where pain can push you that you will stop caring about what people think about you. You just do you. Do you understand? Like, you stop impressing. Like, whenever I'm with anyone now, I don't impress them. Like, I'm not leaving to impress you. If you don't like how I am, then you shouldn't be with me. Do you understand? And I'm so grateful that life has taught me that. And I just want you to know that you're not alone in whatever you're going through. Like, I also have to understand that opening up to people is also one thing that would help as well. Like, like you should be able to talk to people around you they care about you they really want the best for you and you also need to believe that so i'm going to show you guys the final look this is the final look i really do hope you love it i do love it like you guys it matches my outfit i love wearing brown it just matches my skin color so this hair going with all of that is giving me all the vibes and the world all the information on this hair will be in the description box down below check it out shop it it's the brown with blonde highlights body curl hair and I mean, it's awful still, so you guys should definitely check it out. I love you. I'll see you in my next video.